what are alternative minimum taxes or what is the alternative minimum tax regime in the U.S. tax system? Well, to start with, the alternative minimum tax is a basic minimum tax accessible against individuals. The concept behind it is that many individuals are able to reduce their taxable income to the point that they have an abnormally low percentage or total amount of taxes that they pay based upon the income earned. In order to thwart this, in order to make certain that everyone at least pays a certain minimum threshold, the alternative minimum tax system was created. Now, so how do you calculate the alternative minimum tax? Well, to begin with, generally to calculate tax liability in the United States, you uh, assess the total income of the individual, then you reduce that taxable income by using either the standard deduction or itemized deductions. What the result of this calculation, by subtracting these deductions from the taxable income, you arrive at your adjusted gross income, and that adjusted gross income is subject to taxation based upon a tiered tax system. Once you identify your identified tax liability to the government, you reduce that by any applicable credits. So that's the traditional or regular way of uh, assessing your tax liability. Now, if you do a alternative calculation for the alternative minimum tax liability and it is more than your regular or traditional tax liability, you would pay that higher amount or you'd add that difference to your tax liability. So how do you calculate the alternative minimum tax? Well, to begin with, you simply calculate all of your sources of taxable income. Then you do not proceed to reduce that income by as many preferential deductions. There are still some deductions available from that income, but basically you assume that there are no preferential deductions. After you do that, you would then subtract an exemption amount from your calculated taxable income. Okay, so whatever your income is, for an individual, you would reduce that by $77,900. This is the amount in 2023. Or, or if you're married and you're filing a joint tax return, you would reduce your uh, taxable income amount by $118,100 to ar arrive at an amount. And this exemption is made to, once again, create some form of standard deduction for you, if you will, because again, you're reducing this amount of your income. Now, after you've subtracted that from your taxable income, you would multiply the uh, remaining income by per specified percentages. If you have additional income below $197,000, again, these are 2023 numbers, uh, you would uh, calculate 20% of that taxable income amount and this is your alternative minimum tax amount. You would compare this to uh, your traditional amount. If this amount, the alternative minimum tax calculation is more, this would be your tax liability. Uh, if you make above $197,000, uh, the alternative minimum tax percentage rate is 28% uh, for this higher dollar amount. So once again, you would uh, multiply by your taxable income minus your AMT exemption to come up with your minimum taxation amount. And that's the basic way of, of calculating uh, your obligation. Now, you still do have one credit that is available, and that is any amount paid uh, to foreign tax systems. That is, you can claim a credit against your tax liability uh, or your alternative minimum tax liability for any taxes paid to foreign governments on income uh, that is built into the calculation of your alternative minimum tax. So you wouldn't be paying taxes twice on the same, uh, same amounts of money. So anyway, collectively, you can see how this uses the traditional tax system and this alternative minimum tax system to come up with a minimum threshold for tax liability for uh, taxpayers in the U.S.